Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today, we will go through the day 15 problem from July Lead Coding Challenge, Reverse Words in a String. Please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. Given an input string, we need to reverse the string word by word. While doing so, we need to keep in mind the extra leading spaces, trailing spaces and also the multiple spaces in between the words. For example 2, we can see that the output does not have any leading or trailing spaces. While for example 3, we can see that the output does not have multiple spaces in between as an input. We will cover two approaches. First is using the built-in methods and second is by using a doubly ended queue or a DQ. Let's start with the first one. This is a three-step process in which we split, reverse and then join. Let's take this example that has leading spaces, trailing spaces and also multiple spaces in between the words. First, we will trim the string to remove the leading and trailing spaces. For this, you can use the built-in trim function if you are using Java. After trimming, this will be a new string. Now, we will split the words. As there can be multiple spaces, we need to use the regex carefully that takes into account multiple spaces. After splitting, we get these two words. We will store them in a list. Now, we will reverse the elements in list using the reverse method. So, our list now gets reversed. Now, we need to join all the strings in the list with a space. We can use the join function to achieve this. This will give us the desired output and at the end, we will return the join string. The algorithm for this is simple. We first trim the leading and trailing spaces using the trim method. Then we split the string using the built-in split method with the regex as shown and store its result in a list. Then we use the built-in method to reverse the list. And lastly, we join the strings in the list by using an inbuilt join function and return the join string. Now let's go through the second method using the doubly ended queue. Taking the same example, we will first trim the leading and trailing spaces, which gives us this string. Now we will initialize a doubly ended queue DQ of string and a string builder to hold the words that we will add in the DQ. We will also initialize left pointing to the start of string and right pointing to the end of string. We will keep a pending character in the word till the left pointer is less than or equal to the right and the character at left is not a space character. Starting with first character as it is not a space character and is less than the right pointer, we append it in the word. We then move the left pointer one step towards right. Similarly for the second character. We continue this till we encounter a space character or the end of a string. As now we have encountered a space, we add the word in the front of DQ and reset the length of word to 0. We will increment the left pointer till we get a next character that is not a space. As it is still a space, we increment our left pointer one step further. Now the character is not a space character. So we again append the character in word till we get another space character or the end of string. This time we get the next word while the left pointer reaches beyond the end. Now as we have reached the end of string and left pointer is no longer less than the right, the loop breaks. So we come out of the loop and add this last word in front of the DQ. We then join the strings in DQ with a space as a separator. This gives us the desired result string, so we return it. Summarizing it in an algorithm, we first trim the leading and trailing spaces. Then we initialize a doubly ended queue DQ and a string builder word. We loop while left is less than or equal to right. If the length of word is greater than zero and the character at left is not equal to the space character, we convert the word to string and add it in the DQ in front. We then reset the word length to zero. Else, if the character at left is equal to space, we append the character in word and we increment the left. At the end, we convert the last word to string and add it in the DQ. Lastly, we return the string formed by joining the DQ with space. The time and space complexity for both this method is O of n. Here's the actual code snippet from the method. You can also find a link to this code in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you think about the video.